Hello friends, I am Ashish and in this video we are going to make our character run. So this is how it should look when we are done. Uh, our character is running and uh, how I did that, I am going to show you that. So I am just going to delete my character and but I am not going to and I am going to delete my plane. So I'm just left out with a uh, directional light, but we also have a camera. Okay, so this is how basically uh, what a new project in Unity looks like. And I have my assets already imported so that I don't uh, take a lot of your time. So I have basically two assets that you can find free on Unity Asset Store. Just type in raw, raw mocap data and robot guy and you'll just find it and also find the links in my blog so yeah to begin with I'll just go into game object 3d object and uh, select a plane I'll just reset the transform to origin uh, so that my plane is here inside the robot guy I'm going to select my robot guy prefab and just check that its rig type is selected to humanoid its avatar definition is uh, set to create from this model and if it's not just do the same and click on apply and it should create this robot guy avatar and yeah you'll be good to go and just drag it into your scene window then just uh, reset the transform so that it is in is it is at origin and now you must be good and now uh, select your camera and uh, reset its transform also to origin so right now your camera preview just shows uh, nothing and uh, just this free uh, skybox default unity skybox so I'm just going to change so that we can see a player inside the game window so I'm going to set the cameras transform to X to 0 Y to maybe 3 no, 3 is too high 2 yeah 2 and Z to 0 no Z I'll keep it minus 3 minus uh, 2 maybe yeah and uh, rotation to 13 or 14 or 15 yeah 15 looks fine so 15 degrees so my camera is here my robot is here but in the robot what I'll do is uh, just remove the animator window so that my robot Kyle just has this transform as well as my camera it doesn't have nothing too much fancy you just need to make sure your transform is such that you can look your character from behind so now I'm going to create a empty object and I'll name it character so we have a character and I'll just reset its transform so that it's at origin and I'm I'll make I'll select the robot Kyle and camera and make them a child of my character the empty object that I just created and right now if I select my character and I uh, move it around you see that the camera is following the robot uh, robot Kyle actually it's not following robot Kyle it's actually following the character because the robot Kyle and camera both are the child of the character so if I move around my character game object it is just picks with it it is just like uh, wherever you go it follows okay so now I'm just going to reset my character once again so right now if I just hit play it will do just nothing because uh, nothing is set to move our character and that's when we need to use our animation data which is inside the row mocap data so to use our animations we first need to create an animator controller so I'll just name it animator and if I double click the animator you'll see the animator it has states we have to create a new state just by right clicking it I'll just re, uh, rename it to run so this is this is going to be our default 
state. Uh, so I want my default running state to be run impulse. And if you can, uh, you can see that uh, I have this rigging in the rigging tab of this run impulse prefab, the animation type selected to humanoid. Uh, this is a must because we need to have the animation and uh, uh, our character both have the same uh, animation type. So what I need to do is uh, have my running animation motion to be set to run impulse. Okay, you can see its preview inside in here, this preview window. So this is how our character is going to run. So if you uh, want the character to run endlessly, you need to do one thing also that is uh, you just click on the run in bus, go inside the animations tab and uh, oh, sorry about that. Yeah, you need to do uh, check this loop time and ex uh, apply that so so that your animation loops okay so right now we are just left with one thing we need to set an animator for our character that is going to actually move our character so right now whatever we did before adding this animator had no impact on our character we created this animator here which had this default state as running but it was no uh, know how connected to our character so to connect that animator with our character we need to firstly add an animator controller component to our character so i just did that and now we need a reference of our controller here so now our character's animation controller is set as this animator which we created earlier and now this character also needs an avatar so this avatar was created when uh, we uh, when we clicked on our robot kyle prefab and selected and checked this and selected this create from this model it is just created inside this prefabs window uh, this is our avatar so what we need is select this character drag your avatar into this field so that your character uh, so that your animators avatar is uh, set and you need to set the apply root motion checkbox to be ticked so that your character runs as soon uh, moves through your animation also so Right now we are almost all set. Let's just check it by running. It should move our character. Yeah, our character is running fine. And that's how we did it. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.